Hello everybody, welcome to Turnery Game, and I thought I'd show you this very cool server that I've found. Uh, it's called the Cosmos 2. The Cosmos 2. I don't know what happened to the first one, but uh, it's the second one. Uh, it's a little bit laggy here because the spawn is bloody massive, full of loads of stuff, as you'll see. If you've got the uh, a more recent graphics card than me, you'll probably be fine. But yeah, this is a really cool looking uh, vanilla Minecraft server. I've been on for a few days, but I've, I've treated it like a regular server so far, because I, I wanted to look at the special stuff on video. Look at this guy, he's massive. What's he in? Massive crisp. But from what I can tell, this server is very cool, because uh, you can build all kinds of things. You can build spaceships, you can travel through different planets and galaxies, you can build new weapons and... Oh look, here we go. Maybe this will tell us some more. I'm just in the spawn right now, as you can see we've got um, a couple of thingy my wobs telling you what's what. So it's a very cool server and I thought I'd do a little bit of a video on it to show it off. Because um, we have another series on this channel called Bedrock Server Reviews that Betty does. But it's been a while since she's done one. Um, I've never really played Bedrock, I'm much more of a Java guy, as it's called these days. So this is what it looks like when you leave the spawn, here we go, so look, uh, got survival rules, you've got that, um, some warps there, and signs, places to go, and it does look very nice, doesn't it, they've put a lot of work into this, you can tell, oh look at this over here, it's a xenomorph, xenomorph, however you want to say it, having tea with the predator, oh no, it's, having, it's playing chess, and there's cars, there's all kinds of things, there's a giant, Christ the Redeemer, but it looks more like Paul McGann. I don't know who it's supposed to be, but what does it say Paul McGann? Anyway, so let's get straight to the sort of spacey stuff, because that's what this server's all about, and I've been saving it for a few days. I'll just go to my house. This is what I've been working on. It's it's not great. I've built much better houses, but it's it's not awful. Found this really cool, um, nice place. Look at this. But it hasn't snowed since I moved in, which is a shame. I was really hoping this place would get covered in snow and be hidden. Hidden away. I'm working on that still. When you go downstairs. Got this lovely little ice cave going on. Well, I said it's lovely. I built it. But yeah, the reason I joined the server is because I wanted to build a TARDIS. Uh, which we're going to do today. Although I need to figure out what I'm using because I've been thinking about it quite a lot. But yes, um, I, f I realised it's about 10 years ago now, um, I first found a server that had the TARDIS bucket plugin, which is where you could build a TARDIS in survival and fly around the map. And I played on a fair few servers that had that over the course of a few years, so I wanted to have another look. Uh, the first server I tried was Doctor Who Online, which is a server I've played on several times before, but I didn't realise that the plugin was locked behind a paywall, which isn't nice, is it? So we'll get on that now, that can be the first thing we do. And uh, I've been debating what to, I've been debating what to use as, a, as the inside. I thought I could use some of this stuff, because in real life purple is my favourite colour. Uh, my channel colour is green, which is it's up there, green is up there, but um, yeah, purple is definitely number one. Oh yeah, look at this, the moon is sometimes has got this weird hole <laughs> in its place. With some demon looking through. What does it want? Is it eyeing up my house? Can't move in. Can't move in. So I think I was going to use some of this, but I think I'll go with this stuff because it looks more um, mystical, we'll say. So the way to build a TARDIS when you join the server is to get, a, first of all, a block of mineral. It can be diamond, it could be iron, gold, I think copper. Uh, there's a few options now. It used to just be uh, blocks of metal originally, but there's a, a lot of different ones you can do now. So you need that. I think that goes here. Mm -hmm. And then you want your lapis for the classic TARDIS blue. You want your redstone torch to give it that spark of life. And then you put your floor block here and your wall block there. And look, a weird finger appears. That's, um... Oh, is this what I want? I think this is what I want. I've been thinking about it for a few days. I don't know what else I'd have. So there we go. Ooh. Yeah, so there you go. And as far as I remember, this is how it used to be. I don't know if it's still the case, but you need a golden nugget to open the door. You need one of these guys. Okay, let's get on with this. So uh, this is what attracted me back to the server. 
Let's get on with this. And then our space travels can begin. Plunkets about here? I did. Oh. Here he goes. Ooh. I'm scared. This is exhilarating, isn't it? Uh, it'd be nice if there were some dramatic noises. I'll have to add some music in to make this more interesting. I actually cut the music. This is what it's like for me right now. It's exciting, isn't it? All right, put it back on. I guess I can uh, look in my furnaces while this happens. <laughs> Back in uh, when I first played this, it was a lot simpler to make. If you just put a block on the floor, put lapis on top, then redstone torch, and it just materialised in front of you. But they've since changed it, and probably for the better, because there wasn't much customization back then. Now well, it's going to be to my design. Fantastic. Oh, it's nearly done. I can't wait. Any second now? Maybe. Please. Oh, here we go. This is what I used to do. I sort of materialise in. It's just... Have I just got... Have I got those sounds turned off? Uh, surely not. Okay, well I guess... I guess that's done. Let's go in. Oh, okay, this does look pretty good, actually. I was worried it would look weird, but no, I'm happy with this. There we go, this is my box. Ooh. There's nothing that way. Ah, well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't think it would look very good. Let's have a look to see what's around then. So we got the main console unit. What's this here? Uh, trunk. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, so you've got to um, you got to put stuff in it to uh, keep the tides charged. So if I put them in, thirty electron energy, twelve electron energy, six electron energy. There used to be signs that could um. Ah! How did you get in here? Get out! Get out of my house! <laughs> that was very nice. have to light this place up a bit more. Uh, let's push this button. Let's pull this lever. Um, <laughs> is it this button here? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Oh. No. Oh, I really thought that was the one. Okay, I'm going to have to look around for this. Uh, do I need to do it with this? Ah! There we go. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Um, What does it look like on the outside? It still looks like some kind of clay block. How do I make it look nice? Uh, that's probably this. Here we go. Look at all this. Bowls. Save locations, fast return. Chameleon circuit, that's what I was looking for. Uh, invisible, shorted it out. Construct. It's still a clear thingy. I don't want a clear thingy. Maybe I have to go on a maiden voyage first. Okay, well, should we start off just go to a random location maybe? Okay, let's just go to a random location and see what happens. It's a shame there isn't any sound. <laughs> That's really a bit anticlimactic. Uh, is, the, is it music? Wouldn't be music, would it? 